Hello there, my name is Adrian Bex and I'm a facilitator healer and I specialize in group events using light therapy, sound, guided meditation. With my over 20 years experience of um, spirituality, um, I first got introduced into spirituality at a very young age um, from my own intuitive calling. One day I sat down and just meditated and things started to happen. Along that time, my father was also exploring consciousness, uh, meditations. He always had a deep interest in mediumship and physical uh, mediumship and, and phenomena. And he too has had a number of his own experiences. He isn't a, he isn't a physical medium, but he's been an inspiration to me in many areas of my life where he's got to really understand about the, the truth of what you know the spirit world wants from us. And, you know, his greatest quote, which I love, um, is, you know, he says that it's all been orchestrated. Spirit will orchestrate everything. And they do. You know, they have a plan for us. They have a plan for things to happen and, and change. And when we have our earthly lessons, our earthly things that we, we learn and we do, but along the way, we have to go with the flow because sometimes spirit have another plan for us. We may think that, yes, I'm going to be a facilitator in, in a certain area, <laughs> and sometimes your path completely changes. Um, I've touched on the subject of plant medicines a few times. It's not an area that I'm, I'm humble about, as in, I, you know, had some experiences, but it's not something I feel totally drawn to. But the, the areas of like ayahuasca and Piyoti, uh, Piyoti, uh, other different plant medicines out there. There are certain shamans and circles working together in order to tap into the, this area. And I've seen it wake people up, but don't rely on plant medicines because I'm not saying it doesn't work. It's worked for some people, but also the light therapy that I, I offer using light machines and gongs and breath work and cacao, guided meditation, the whole package comes together as like a ceremony that's not using any plant medicines at all, which is completely safe, legal, and doesn't me mess up your um, brain chemistry, and um, has completely transformed a number of individuals. So I guess you could call my events ceremonies. But these ceremonies have been around for thousands of years since since man has been existed, you know. Um, and I guess there's something within me that knows that what I'm offering is what people need. Not everybody, it doesn't work for everybody. It's not for everybody, but it's for those people who feel drawn to um, exploring and uh, experimenting and journeying with spirit. And spirit has been around for, for many, many years. You know, it's been there since the beginning of, beginning of history, beginning of man, because we are spirit ourselves. In order to find spirit, in order to find light, then we must become light ourselves because science will never prove the existence of spirit because unless it becomes spiritual itself. So what I'm saying here is that we have to take a back seat and understand that sometimes things cannot be explained, but they can in a non-physical way, in a metaphysical way. So we have to keep our eyes open, eyes on understanding what's going on. And sometimes we don't understand. And this is where our own true personal experience is more validated than anything else. It doesn't matter how many mediums you go to, psychics or seances you go to, your own personal experience is always going to be more powerful than anything else you do. So keep on your spiritual path, keep meditating, keep attending home circles or start one if you haven't done already. And if you can't find a home circle and what you want to do, at least tend a healing circle, a Reiki circle, a massage circle, something where you're working with energies because it's important for the mind, it's important for the spirit to do so. And if you can't find some, some a group, if perhaps you, you work really odd shifts that aren't sociable, then meditate. Meditate at the same time, at certain times of the week. Dedicate a time where you are active in that in that area and things will flow so it's your dedication of spirit that is important and you can only go so far as much as energy you put into it so always remember that that is no ego there's no rush it's not a race everyone 
goes at their own pace and things flow in the right time. So remember, time is your best friend and spirit your best friend too. So take a big deep breath, relax, let go and know that you're in safe hands. So until next time, I'll speak to you at other videos and I'll see you there.